Sarminoki. Sacred Heart School. We just have one class coming in today, so we're not, we don't have all 130 kids for our school, just one class, but I think you'll like it. Stay tuned. Okay. I'll go ahead and play the flute while we wait for all the kids to get over here. Okay. All right. See you soon. I was waiting for the thumbs up from Mr. K. I thought I was going to run out of breath there. Let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting, amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you. Pour out your mercy upon us, 
to pardon what conscience dreads, and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading from, is from Paul's letter to the Galatians. O oh, stupid Galatians, who has bewitched you, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was published, publicly portrayed as crucified? I want to learn only this from you. Did you receive the Spirit from works of the law, or did, or from faith in what you heard? Are you so stupid? After, be after beginning with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? Does then the one who supplies the Spirit to you and works mighty deeds among you, do so from works of the law or from faith in what you heard? Oh, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He has raised up for us mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Through this holy prophet, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show us mercy to our fathers and remember his holy covenant. <laughs> this was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous. In his sight, all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had finished praying, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his followers to pray. So Jesus told them, Pray in this way, Father, help us to honor your name. Come and set up your kingdom. Give us each day the food we need. Forgive our sins as we forgive everyone who has done wrong to us. And keep us from being tempted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to try to wear this mask and see what the microphone sounds like like this because you all know how worked up I can get once in a while, right? And I might get some particles spitting out. So I thought I'd put a shield in front of me and you. 
Sound like a good idea? Good idea? Really good idea? Super good idea? All right, good. Okay. I thought so too. So our gospel today, I really love this gospel, especially with all of you guys here, okay? Because guess what? We're, one of the things that we're trying to do with all of you over in our school, guess what that is? What am I thinking? This is where you have to try to think about, hmm, what's Father Dave thinking? It's a scary game, isn't it? It's a very, very scary game. What, what are some of the things we want to try to teach you guys over in school? Hmm? Come on. What, what are we trying to teach you? What are, you, what are we trying to teach you? Did, you? did you do something up there today? What did you do? Read. Are we trying to teach you how to read? Yeah, okay. How about counting? What's that called? Math. We're trying to teach you that too, aren't we? Okay, good. Yeah. What else? Yes, nailed it. How to pray to God. That's exactly right. That's one of the things we want to try to teach you. Okay? And Jesus, we find out that Jesus' disciples, they came to him and said, Hey, Jesus, teach us how to pray. Okay? And let's first of all talk about what is prayer? What are we talking about when we talk about prayer? What is prayer, basically? How would you, how would you sum it up? What's prayer? What do you think it is? Hmm? It's talking to God. That's exactly it. That's exactly it, okay? But it's more, it's, it is definitely talking to God, but it's also something else. When you are talking with your friend, what is your friend doing? Listening. Exactly. So when you add talking and listening, the two-way street, what do we call that? Conversation. Exactly. Or communication. So that's the important thing that I, I want you guys to hold on to today. That praying is not just talking to God, but it's also listening to God. It's supposed to be a two-way street, okay? And that takes, that takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of practice to be able to hear God because is God, like, physically present with us? No, no. And so... It's not like listening to your friend or listening to your mom or listening to your teacher, right? They're all physically present with us. And so it's easier to listen to them, isn't it? Okay? So that's why we want to continue to help you in this thing called learning how to pray. Okay? Guess what? I've been at it a long time. Okay? Okay? My mom and my religious ed teachers, when I was your age, were trying to teach me how to pray. And guess what? I'm still learning. I'm still learning today. I don't have it all figured out, okay? But there are some important things that we learned in the gospel today, okay, that Jesus taught his disciples. First of all, how do you address God? What did he say? What did he say? How about in the back row? Anybody? What did Jesus say? When you pray, say. No, at the beginning. Father. Exactly. Father. Which is basically saying it is a relationship. And, and the, the word that they used, that Jesus used in, in his language that he spoke at that time was Abba which can be translated as father, but it can also be translated as something a lot more intimate than father. Father kind of sounds kind of, kind of strict and, and professional, doesn't it? 
Well, the term Abba actually means like something much more close, much more uh, intimate, and like daddy, right? Daddy. Like maybe what you first started calling your own father. Or instead of, do you refer to your mother as mother? How many of you use mother? No? Do you use mother? Okay. What do you use? Mama. Yeah. What's that? You use mother? Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. But mama sounds like a lot more intimate. Okay? Um, and so that's what Jesus was saying to his disciples. Right off the bat, how do you speak to God? In a very intimate way. Okay? And then there's another piece in there where you ask. Ask for what you need in this day. That's what he means by give us our daily bread. Okay? And then another piece in there, it says we, we recognize that we don't always do the right thing. Forgive us our sins. Huh? Forgive us our sins. So in other words, pay attention to the times where you've messed up. And you go to God and you recognize that. that. That's called humility. Okay? So we humbly come to God and we ask him to forgive. And then what comes right after that? As we forgive others. Right? So we are called to recognize our own sin, but then also recognize if we want God to forgive us, we should we should do the same thing with our friends, with all the people who do wrong to us. We should forgive them. Okay? Those are the points that I wanted to just continually try to help remind all of us as we continue to learn how to pray and as we continue to strive to teach you the important things that we're trying to teach you across the street in our school, reading, math, how to play well with others, right? We also are striving to continually teach you how to pray. Because like I said, it's a lifelong process. I am still learning. So let us all continue to practice, okay? Practice what we're, we're trying to learn here. Will you guys do that? Will you go ahead and have conversations with God? Hmm? Yeah? Or an, oh yeah. Oh yeah, all right. That's what I was looking for. I think I can take the security shield off now, okay? Let's now stand and bring our prayers in the form of petitions before our God. Who's got the petition? The responses is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, for our Pope, our bishops, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons, and everyone who serves the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our leaders and for the people that we may be guided in the ways of just, justice and peace, that we would honor one another and serve the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For all the sick and suffering, the homeless, the unemployed, and anyone in any kind of distress, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an end to COVID-19, so we all can live 
work and play the way we used to. Praise for an, the Lord. Lord, for an, hear our prayer. For an end to COVID-19 so we can all live, work, and play the way we used to. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the students of Sacred Heart continue to show God's love, kindness, and excellence. We pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, we ask you to hear all these prayers. We bring before you with faith and confidence through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth is given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. In today's Mass, we're offering for the repose of the soul of Michaela Rollins. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on a journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery, the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through this passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, in whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that, by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son, and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Archbishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons in your entire people, Grant that all the faithful of the church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live in reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. And now we'll pray our prayer for vocations. I'm switching up on Pete. God our Father, you made each of us to receive our gifts in the body of Christ. We ask that you inspire young people whom you call to the priesthood and consecrated life to courageously follow your will. Send workers into your great harvest, so that the gospel is preached, the poor are served with love, the suffering are comforted, and your people are strengthened by the sacraments. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. All right. It was great to have you guys back. Thank you so much. You guys did wonderful. We'll all get through this together, right? All right. Have a great day.